guys, so today I have an exciting kind of haul for you guys. Um, it's pretty much just a Primark haul, but I do have two things that I got from Lush that I recently want to, that I recently got from Lush that I want to share with you guys. So I'll probably show the Lush stuff first and then we'll get on to the Primark haul. So yeah, if you guys want to see the things that I got, then um, stay tuned. Okay, so these two things my best friend got me, like, she ordered them for me for Easter, but she gave them to me early, she gave them to me yesterday, and, um, the first one I will show you guys is a massage bar. You guys know I've been really loving massage bars, um, from Lush, because, not for massages, but they're really, really scented, they smell like a perfume almost, and they're so creamy, and they have all essential oils and everything in them, so it's nice to kind of rub on your body, like, to make your skin smell really good. So I've wanted this one for ages, and she got me the... Pearl, I think it is. I've got the product description here. The Pearl Massage Bar. This one is £6.50. Um, it's really, really pretty. It's got all of these beautiful kind of little, like, pearly looking pink bits in it. I don't know if you guys can see, but I'll insert close-ups of the stuff. Okay, so it says, the Pearl Massage Bar. This is a sweet floral spelling massage bar with antioxidant argan oil, soothing rose oil, absolute... An absolute with sago, bub sago bubbles to massage the skin and help boost circulation. I think that's what these pink bits are. But pretty much it smells absolutely incredible. It, it does have a very floral smell. It smells like, like roses really. But not a granny floral smell. There's something about it that smells quite berryish as well. I don't know. It's just a really nice smell. It's kind of melting in my hands right now. But like this scent is just me all over. If you love things that smell super duper girly and, you know, oh, fresh, then this is like really nice. And like I said, all I do is I'll rub it on my arms and my neck and stuff. And it literally just makes you smell like you're wearing a perfume. But because it's like infused with all of these essential oils, it's really good for making your skin soft and all of that jazz. So... Oh, it's so so good. So I definitely recommend the massage bar and I'm really liking this. Okay, and the last thing that Alana got me is a soap. She got me the Somewhere Over the Rainbow soap. Um, I really love Lush soaps so so much. So the description for this one is, this is really cool. I don't know if you guys can see that's what the soap looks like in the shop. I actually went in, she ordered these online, but I actually went into the Lush store yesterday in Cardiff and was looking at how amazing it looks and it's really sparkly and stuff. But my trunk's like orange and blue. So I kind of wish I got like a pink bit, but it says um, wash with a chunk of the rainbow, allowing your troubles to melt away like lemon drops. Rose Absolute, uh, Mandarin, um, Neroli oils to leave you dancing through life. So anyway, um, it pretty much is meant to, it's got like a, that slight floral smell, like it says it has that Rose Absolute oil in it, but it has quite a citrusy smell, like it says, like it's got Mandarin oils in it and stuff like that. Um, so it's really nice, it's quite... It's quite a different smelling soap, but I do quite like it. I haven't used this in the shower yet, so I'll probably use it today. But um, I really like it. The um, I'll like insert close-ups again, but um, the front bit's like really metallic and everything. And um, this is the I think this is the hundred gram soap, which um, is like huge for hundred gram. To be honest, I think I feel like in in Lush you only need to buy the smallest one for the soaps because it's worth it like this will last so long and um this was four pound 25 so they're usually it's more expensive than the other soaps because the other soaps are about like three pound 50 i think but um you know it's worth it i'm pretty sure this one it was is like an easter time limited edition one or something so um ah oh, make sure you kind of get your hands on it if you want this so so anyway, that is it for the Lush stuff. Now on to the Primark goodies. I went to Cardiff yesterday and I got a whole bunch of stuff because I love the um, Cardiff Primark. If you guys are anywhere around Cardiff or you're going on a trip there sometime, make sure you go in the Cardiff Primark. It's literally a three-story huge like department store kind of thing. Like um, the Primark kind of closer to where I live is kind of smallish I mean they're usually around double story but this one is massive like it's absolutely huge I think it might even be four story I don't know but it's massive and it's amazing so I went in Primark and I got a few more bits even though I went in Primark last week and bought stuff but it's Primark you know you gotta so here's my huge Primark bag yeah. Ooh. so I'll get the boring bits out of the way first Whenever I go into the Cardiff Primark, they have the biggest range of leggings, so I always make sure I get myself some leggings because literally, leggings is that 
is literally all that I wear. I mean, they're so comfy. But um, this time they actually had a huge different variety of different feel kind of leggings. So I got my normal cotton leggings, which are these. They're so comfortable. I absolutely love these. And they're three quid. For three pounds, you can't go wrong. I absolutely love them. Amazing quality. So these are the cotton ones. They're just like your normal kind of basic legging feeling kind of thing. They're like the ones I'm wearing today. But I also got a pair of the Viscose regular um, ones. The viscose is very thin, very light, very soft feeling, and I thought this would be really nice for kind of summertime when it's starting to get a bit warmer, because, um, I mean, like, I still wear leggings quite a bit in summer, but, I mean, to be honest, I wear a lot of dresses and stuff in summer, because leggings do tend to make you hot, especially because they're black and they're cotton, so they don't have much kind of ventilation, but the viscose ones I've had before um, in summertime, not the Primark ones, though. And um, they're really nice and lightweight if you still want to wear leggings in like the summertime. So I got these. Only thing about this cost is it can be quite sheer. This doesn't seem too bad, but um, so make sure you wear black panties with these kind of leggings. But um, yeah, I liked how they had a huge range. They had like um, really thick ones there and stuff too. And for three pounds for a pair of leggings, you cannot go wrong. So I guess I'll just stick to fashion considering we're on fashion. Okay, I actually didn't really buy a lot. This is like the last fashion thing that I got, but um, I got other bits. Anyway, I saw this and I could not leave it. They had a huge sale on all of the jackets and winter kind of clothes in um, this Primark. And um, they had a bunch of kind of like leather jackets. And I saw this one and I could have died. So it's this leather jacket here. This is literally like... Um, a pink lady kind of grease lightning kind of esque um, pink like pastel leather jacket it's of course it's fake leather as well I wouldn't buy a real leather jacket um, but oh my gosh I absolutely love it it's so gorgeous I love the silver detailing on it I will try it on so you guys can see clearer it's just so detailed amazing quality and guess how much it was it was 10 quid 10 quid for a leather jacket usually I mean people pay over a hundred bucks for like a leather jacket. I mean, my, my other one, my black one that I have, I think was around 30 or 40 quid from TK Maxx, which was still a really good price for a leather jacket. But when it was 10 pounds, I could not leave it. The original price was 25, so it's a big discount. So yeah, if you guys are really wanting to like stock up on like, you know, um, like leather jack like jackets and coats and sweaters and stuff make sure you go to Primark now like because I know it's going to be in warmer season but you'll have literally the perfect amount of you know winter like warmers ready for winter time next year and plus it's like here like it's spring but it's still kind of cold so I think I'll get good wear of this and this is quite a thin leather jacket actually so it'd be really nice for layering or even to wear in like the springtime as well and this fits perfectly I think this is a size 16 I got a size 16 because like I can fit into a 14 but I like to be able to like do them up and com comfortably I don't usually wear leather jackets like done up but um I always get like a 16 in leather jackets I think my other ones are 14 but um yeah it's just so that if you do ever have to do it up I'm not being like squished on my chest so um yeah I got a 16 and it's nice and I like things kind of oversized anyway so yeah like oh this is the best find I absolutely love this so the next thing I got was I was looking in the accessories kind of section at the jewelry and there wasn't anything I really liked but I saw this phone case with Minnie Mouse on it and it was reduced to a pound. So um, yeah it was three pounds originally anyway they have such cheap phone cases in Primark um, but um, yeah it was reduced to a pound I mean I couldn't leave it there it's like a pound and um, yeah it's just really cute like it says Minnie I love Minnie Mouse and I just love how pink and pretty it is and it's just really cute like really really stupid I know but I think it's really adorable so I got that then I kind of traveled up to the homeware section and they had some really awesome like new kind of um, spring summery kind of stuff in Primark and flamingos and pineapples were a huge thing um, in the like bedding and you know homeware section and um, I saw this mug and I couldn't leave it I think it was this was mug was two pound fifty and um, I just love really corny mugs and it's this really cute flamingo mug it's literally the handle is a flamingo head and I just think it's so cute and oh my god it I, like I just love really really cute corny mugs that kind of match me I don't know it's like really stupid probably but um I, I just really like this mug and for £2.50 I could not leave it it's just, it's just really cool I like how the handle is the head and the neck it oh 
it's so cute I'm definitely gonna be having a cuppa in this later <laughs> Next thing from the homeware section I got was another candle. Um, if you guys saw my Primark haul that I uploaded, I'll probably link it down below. Um, the Primark haul I uploaded like a few days ago, a week ago, I don't know. Um, I got a candle. I was looking at the candles that they got, and I think I got a black currant scented candle, and it's purple and stuff. And I've been burning that, and um, it it smells really nice. But the one I don't know if you heard in that haul, I really wanted the pink one, but there, it wasn't there. Anyway, I got the pink one, and this one smells like red berry and jasmine, and oh, this one smells so so good. I don't feel like it smells like red berry or jasmine really. I don't know. It smells very fruity, but like. I, I don't know. I don't know what it smells like. I guess it's quite berry, but I, I don't know. It's a really unique scent, really, really pretty and soft. And I think this will burn really, really nice in summer. And um, these candles are two pounds. And I mean, it's ridiculous. And they burn for up to 30 hours. So plus they're really cute. And they're in these like kind of like glass kind of jars. So when the candle's out, you could just scoop out the remaining wax. Well, this is my plan anyway. And you could use these to store jewelry and stuff like that. Or you could even plant like a little cactus or something in there like I thought that'd be really really cute so um I got another candle because it smells amazing and the last two things I got was well I got batteries for my fairy lights because um I recently used the last set of batteries on my pink ones and the batteries last really long in them too but like they've been run out for ages on my pink fluffy ones and I just thought I'd stock up on batteries but I also got these um, which I'm going to hang up now once I finish filming this video. These are the um, Home Lights 20 LED color changing um, lights and these were three pounds and they're these really really pretty um, colorful flower lights. Like I said I'll insert a clip and all that stuff which I thought would look really cute. I just want to get like a huge, like I know I've already got two sets on there but I feel like when I have fairy lights in the background it's just really pretty for you know the videos and uh, me and Alana also turn them on at night when we're just chatting in bed or whatever and it's just, I don't know, it's just really nice, makes everything really homey and pretty and um, like I said I've got like white ones and I've got like the pink ones and um, I just thought these would be really nice to add some like colourful flair to it and um, yeah I just think I just there were three quid and there were so many to choose from but I really liked these kind of like daisy looking flowers so I got them so that is it you guys for this video um, I hope you guys enjoyed it um, if you have any comments or questions or anything just comment them down below there'll be links to previous videos my social networking sites and my Etsy store in the description bar down below so be sure to check that out um, yeah um, that's all I really have to say for now so I love you guys so much and I hope you have a fantastic day make sure you thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel I love you guys